three things that inspire me creatively. My spirituality, you know what I'm saying? My, my spirituality, I, 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 trees and truths, waters, a lot of them are, there are positive and religious messages sewn in under underneath. And, and it comes from just the way that I was raised and, and the things that I believe in, you know? Um, and that inspires it a lot. I think it's very cool to try to figure out how to take these messages from the Bible or from the stories that I was told as a kid and make it into a song. You know, on Trees and Truths, I did a song with John Doe called Noah and the Rain. Basically told a story of Noah and the flood, but metaphorically made it a modern day story. You know what I'm saying? It was a very dope song. And I did a, a song about, uh, there's a story in the Bible about this guy, he's a, he's a centurion. Not even just the stories per se, but taking the messages. Like, you know, at the, at the basis of God's message, it's love. I'm talking about loving the next man, loving your brother. You know what I'm saying? Loving God, showing God's love to other people. That's the basis of the message, is love. And that's the basis of the album, THC, what I'm working on, the healing component. What is the healing component? Love is the healing component. At the root of a lot of problems, there's a lack of love. There's a lack of God's love. There's a lack of brotherly love. There's a lack of respect. So take that message and put, package it up into this music, put it over this beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get inspired by that all the time. That's definitely a bank that I pull from for inspiration for the music. My life, people don't realize how simple the life experience like I'm on the bus and I'm looking at people and I'm people watching while I'm on the bus I see how people feel on the bus see how people act on the bus see how people feel on the train and act on the train it helps me relate to people when I'm writing bars and I'm talking to my peers and I want to be relatable I want to use words that they relate to I want to use experiences that they relate to I want to use feelings that they relate to I want to talk about situations I want to use metaphors from situations that they relate to and things that people don't always talk about how often do you hear a metaphor about the conductor on the train, you know what I'm saying? Like, and the way he might've looked at you when you were running for the train and he pulled off anyway. I, I don't know, something like that. Like, I know I ain't the only person that has had the conductor or the bus driver stare at me as he pulled off. He saw me trying to get on that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a, a sentiment of feeling that people will identify with as soon as they hear that, cause it's happened to them as well, you know what I'm saying? And something that's uncommon like that off the beaten path to talk about in a song or pull a metaphor from, that helps people relate to you, you know what I'm saying? So I use inspiration from life all the time, from people watching, from being out in the street, downtown, being in these different spaces. I think that's something that people don't pay attention to as a place for inspiration. Um, and then lastly, I was gonna say marijuana, but maybe that's not the inspiration per se. It just makes me think different, not better or worse. I'm not more creative or anything like that, but I, I put it almost like another dimension, not like I'm in another dimension, but I put it side by side. I think a lot of people, when they talk about how drugs influence them when they create music, sometimes it's made to seem like, oh, I'm better when I'm on when I'm off the weed, or I'm better when I'm high, and I don't think I'm better, it's just different. Whereas I'll look at my shoe, me right now, and just, you know, look back up at you. If I'm high, I might look at my shoe, and I might tweak off my shoelace, I might just stare, you know what I'm saying? And think about it more intensely and deeply than I would normally. Maybe I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it's not my shoe, maybe it's your hat, maybe it's whatever, but it's, it's different than I would normally think about it, it's different. And that gives me inspiration, you know what I'm saying? To think about, it gives me the space to think about things differently than I normally would. It's definitely something I can't deny is an essential part of my creation process. Those three things, I think my spirituality, life in general, and uh, good old Mary Jane. Definitely like sativa. I don't like indica, kind of puts you to sleep. I'll get, well, I'll get sleepy or I'll get drowsy off of it. I'll fuck with an indica, you know what I'm saying? But I definitely like sativa. Northern Lights is my favorite strand. I like crumble wax it's a concentrate form of uh marijuana i like crumble a lot you know what i'm saying my tolerance is so high that i just be like i, I fuck with the wax but i don't dab it i think dabbing is kind of excessive so i just put a little bit in the joint roll it up the rappers they just rap they just say stuff they just rhyme they want to be cool rappers need role models they look up to people they just they're just people just like cops Cops aren't role models. These albums kind of get frustrating and I do everything myself, so I just, I personally don't like making albums because I still feel like as an independent artist, albums are just not a good thing to release. When the bus flipped, everybody was asleep. I was asleep, I thought I was dreaming because you, you bouncing around in there like you in the, the, the cage of a NASCAR. The girl that doesn't talk about sex sent me the most sexual song ever. And he was like, well, get on it. And I was like, do you know what this is about? And then he's like, well, you, you're dope. You could do it. 